we recognize with everything going on in the community right now, people need answers. Kevin Kramer was one of eight Louisville Metro Council members who put his name on a letter to Mayor Greg Fisher, demanding more transparency from Fisher's office regarding the Breonna Taylor investigation. It comes after the attorneys for Taylor's family claimed the Vision Russell development project was tied to her death. I hope that it's not true and that there are documents to be able to prove that. Uh, but quite frankly, uh, nobody on the council has seen any documents to be able to say whether it has or hasn't. The family attorneys claim LMPD more aggressively pursued a drug case against Jamarcus Glover, Taylor's ex-boyfriend, because of where he allegedly operated, a home on Elliott Avenue in the heart of the Russell neighborhood. It goes on to say the city had been buying and demolishing properties on that street to make way for the Vision Russell plan. Elliott Avenue is part of a place-based investigation. In terms of any specific property on that, there was no conversation with my office on that. Place-based investigations is a LMPD unit that Mayor Fisher says has been around for about six months and works to identify and disrupt crime place networks. I was dumbfounded to uh, see the linkage of this initiative here was somehow tied into a nefarious objective with Breonna Taylor's uh, tragedy. But Metro Council members say they want more information and they want it now. They used the example of the LMPD Explorer sex abuse scandal, saying they still have not received information regarding that case. And there's reason for us to, to suspect that we aren't getting all the information. Again, not necessarily to suspect this is true, but we know that there's other information and we'd like to know what it is. Any information that is not precluded or that we're not precluded from in, uh, releasing because of the criminal investigation that the AG and the FBI are involved with, we absolutely will release all that information. Andrew Chernoff, WLKY News. And the council is requesting the documents and information be delivered by the full council's next meeting on July 23rd.